Okay, welcome back to Full Self Driving. This is version 11.4.1, and the main focus of this video is going to be parking lot navigation. Uh, not so much navigation, but I believe that we are on the uh, the brink of having Tesla release uh, reverse summon, uh, actually good summon, uh, as it's called, and that's based on the UI. Uh, this version is painting uh, parking lots in extreme detail and I believe it's based on map data. Um, so the main focus will be on the screen here. You can see all the way across this road how it's outlining what the parking lot looks like. There's islands. There's an island for example, if I can get it, I'm not sure if I can. This island up here, I mean you can barely see, it's by that cone up there across the road. Uh, but it's showing, so I believe it's from map data or a local memory. Uh, I believe it's map data though because um, I've seen parking lots mapped in good detail that I haven't personally been to, so it's coming from the maps somehow. So uh, the focus of this video will be watching the screen. I'm not sure how good my viewpoint is from this camera. Let me adjust a little bit. But focus on the screen and then cross-reference with outside. Um, I'll probably be manually driving mostly uh, in the parking lots here, uh, not using autopilot just so you can see the detail of the map. So, really good. Uh, I might try to make a different video with a better camera angle and then do a, a time lapse because I know if you speed it up maybe 10 times, it just looks a lot more uh, interesting going quickly. But you can see all the detail in the parking lot here to include around the corner where we can't really see. This island here, which is up here, is perfectly represented. The entire topology, look at this. Um, behind the building. From my vantage point, I can't even see if there is a road there or a driving path, uh, but self-driving knows that it's there. So I don't know if this is from uh, aerial imagery like satellite maps or if this means that Teslas have traversed uh, these areas before and mapped it out. I couldn't say, but here's this road. So uh, very cool. And likewise, you can see on the other side of the building there, uh, we can see parking islands. They're kind of jumping in and out of existence. Let's see if I go closer that direction. Mm, didn't really help, right? So here's, okay, pretty cool, right? So I'll uh, do a few more little uh, laps here. Let's see, here's a gate that's swinging out. Uh, I can't tell if it sees that gate. Maybe it didn't, maybe it did. Okay, here's another example. There's a parking lot up there that you can't see, yet, uh, self-driving showing a parking lot there and the structure of it so we can see the exact layout of this parking lot that's completely invisible to the vision system so it's guaranteed this is coming from some form of a map um, it's weird because it's flickering in and out um, as if there's like an uncertainty to it even though it can't see it so I, it's very fascinating and I don't know if these are kind of coarse maps you know not so-called HD maps but good enough maps and then the vision system can kind of fill in the details as you get closer. But look at this, there's a drive through around this uh, restaurant. You can see there's a curb up there, uh, a curb right here that's shaped like an L. So let's go ahead and go up there. I hope this is coming across on video um, because it's really cool. Once again, I'm just manually driving around this parking lot. Yep, so look at the detail. Look at the detail in this parking lot. Uh, this is new with uh, this 11.4.2. Uh, this is the release that Elon Musk said uh, could be called V12. Okay, uh, and there's a lot going on here, um, and I, I do agree that um, this, you know, there's a lot going on. So here's this island. I don't know if you can see it. This island by this car here that we saw earlier on the map. In fact, it's there. So I'll make uh, one more quick turn through here, and then uh, we'll get on the road. So, let's see, this is the wrong way, see a human pilot's doing the wrong thing, per the usual. So anyway, I think you get the point that uh, this is mapping data, and I think it's paving the groundwork for uh, actually smart summon and reverse summon and some other really cool features, hopefully in the, uh, in the near future here in the next, you know, few months. Uh, so very excited about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get on the road here. I'm not used to manually driving. I spend literally 99 plus percent of my time on autopilot slash full self-driving. Probably greater than 99 percent. 
I would say 99.5% or 99.9% of my miles are on some form of uh, full self-drive. Uh, so yeah, like one in a thousand miles might be manually driven. Uh, and it's been that way for me for basically two and a half years, ever since I got access to full self-driving. So anyway, you can see the detail on the parking lots that are adjacent to us here. Really cool. And you can see how now the path planner has the capability of planning into these parking lots um, because it has the structure of them. Look at that, look at all the detail. So this is super cool. The only thing I wish is that this, uh, the space that's displayed, I wish it were a much larger area displayed, um, maybe four or five times the distance, especially out in the front, maybe 10 times as far out in front, especially on the highway to show what's really coming up far ahead. So anyway, this is about the end of the uh, interesting parking lots in this particular area. So I'll probably end the video here, but I hope you understand that, uh, look at this, here's a McDonald's drive through off to the right with the cars in it. Very cool. Anyway, so I think we have a lot of cool stuff in store for us uh, in the not too distant future. Really looking forward to it and uh, we'll see where it goes.